Kenyon Green looks like an absolute superstar. You know, when I watched him in week one, he didn't look as dominant. But as week two came around, he looked better. And in week three, I think he's really put it together. The guy was doing things in this game where I looked at him and I thought, this guy's going to be one of the best guards in the NFL. You know, sometimes you can watch a guy and you can just tell he has it. The fact that Green is able to, in this play right here, quickly recognize that the defense tackle was asked to slide down. He's able to double team with the center and make sure the center overtakes that defense tackle. And he's able to get up to the linebacker and make contact with the linebacker. That's a really nice job. And of course, the running back does pick up about five yards on this play. But in today's video, we're going to break down Kenyon Green over the course of this game. Let's just jump right into it. I want you guys to watch Green climb up to number 53 here. This is going to be a zone run to you, the right of your screen. Green's going to make contact with the defender in the three technique. The left tackle is going to overtake this guy, and Green's going to climb up to number 53. Not only is he going to make contact with 53, but he's going to drive him into the end zone. Now, this play does not pop, but from an individual block perspective, Green does a great job getting to 53 and driving him really far deep into the end zone here. That's a really nice job by Green. Of course, I want you guys to really watch the double team because the left tackle is going to really appreciate as soon as Green gets out of his stance, he gets that left hand on this defensive lineman really makes sure to stretch out and allow 78 to cut him off. Tunsil's able to cut his guy off and of course Green gets up to the linebacker here and makes contact. And ultimately from the backside perspective, those two guys both do a great job, Tunsil as well as Green. But of course Tunsil's block only works because of Green. That's a really nice job on this play. Just a gain of a couple yards, but I did want to point it out because Green does a really solid job from an individual block perspective. I want you guys to watch Kenyon Green. Green is going to be the lead pull here on this play, and watch how great of a job he does out in space. As this play begins, he does a great job getting out there, finding number 31, making contact, and driving him outwards. That is a great job for a 330-pound offensive lineman. The quickness out of your step, the footwork, the ability to make contact low, mirror a guy that may try to dip past you or get around you in some sort of way. Green does a really nice job, man. That's what I like to see right there. That's a great job showing that footwork that he has. Alrighty, guys, jumping forward into the next rep, I want you guys to watch this play because this play right here shows you the mental processing that Kenyon Green has. Now, from an offensive standpoint, you have from right right tackle to left tackle five offensive linemen you have a tight end that's going to give you six and a running back that's possibly going to give you seven guys on the defense side of the ball you have seven guys as well across the board so as offensive linemen you have to be able to see what's coming you have to be able to see which guy's going to blitz and which guy's going to drop off because in this play you're going to see that number 53 and 58 are both going to drop off but 58 is going to give a hezy move where he's going to try to freeze the left guard there's the fake by 58 he's going to come back and number nine's coming as well so Kenyon green has to be able to see all of that at the same time the harder part of this is the guy lined up in the three technique the defensive tackle he's going to cross your face so you have to be confident to let him go knowing that your center is going to be able to pick him up and you have to know that there's two guys coming which guy do i take which guy does the running back take green does a great job picking up number nine he's able to process everything that's happening pre-snap he's able to read it react and pick the guy up man that's a great job right there by the left guard let's go ahead and jump into the next rep jumping into this next rep the running back's gonna pick up a massive chunk of yards this is all offensive line man the guy doesn't even get contacted until he's like 10 or 15 yards downfield damian pierce is a running back that i love but you gotta give credit to the offensive linemen specifically the left tackle and left guard first and foremost watch the left guard i think the left guard's going to do a great job because he's gonna take a couple steps to the end side he's gonna let this defensive tackle go upfield and he's gonna ultimately end up turning back around and shutting it down let's go ahead and watch that block by green great job getting to the inside letting 90 go upfield turning back around and shutting down number 90 but even more so than the that the block by Lermy Tunsil in my opinion is what makes this guy elite he has to cut off number 53 and he knows that the second he takes this step number 53 is gonna go this way so instead of going in the angle here he's going to take an even crazier angle this way and he's gonna make contact with 53 somewhere down over here as you guys are gonna see and this is why Lermy Tunsil is a top three tackle in the NFL is because of plays like this the fact that he takes this super wide angle cuts off number 53 and the running back doesn't even get touched because 
Tunsil's cutting his guy off. The front side guys are getting to their guys, right? This is such a nice job by the left guard and left tackle, even center to the tight end here uh, from the center to the right side. Couple down blocks, get two guys to pull. The first guy here takes that guy. Uh, this is just a really nice job by the entire offensive line. The tight end, the fullback, even Pierce does a great job spinning around Roquan Smith. This is the stuff that pumps me up, man. As a former offensive lineman, a guy that breaks down offensive line tape, those angles by Tunsil, the fact that Green lets his guy go up, and they do a great job allowing the running back here to pick up a massive chunk of yards. That's a great job, man. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. All right, you guys, you guys should get this inside zone play here where the running back's going to bend it backside. And I want you guys to watch Green because Green's going to do a fantastic job on his block. Both Green and the center are going to make contact with number 90. Green's going to get off and get up to number 45 and take 45 and stretch his ass outwards. And the running back picks up a nice gain on this play. But this play only hits because of Green's ability to double team. But more than the double team block, right? That's a nice job to really help the center move a guy. But the fact that he is able to get up to number 45, but not only get up to him and make contact, but from the point he makes contact, look at how far he's going to stretch this guy out to the right. He's literally going to drive him four yards past the hash mark, and he made contact initially somewhere over here. That's a really solid job by Green. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Now, I do think Kenyon Green's best ability is his ability to get out in space. For being as big and quick and strong and powerful as he is, that's what you want to do, man. You want to get a guy like him out in space. Look at how he moves. Watch the power in that first step right there. Look at that power coming out of his stance. That power getting out. And really trying to find who he needs to make contact with. For number 31 Jones, the one thing you don't want is you don't want to see a guard that weighs and is as strong as Green coming directly at you. That's a great job right there to make contact, man. Uh, and absolutely drive a guy and allow your running back to get down to the one yard line. Let's go ahead and jump into the next rep. One of the interesting things with the Houston Texans is although they are 0-2-1, They've been in every single game. Literally, one touchdown or less is what they've lost by. And truth be told, they're doing a great job in the way they're building. You have to have a great offense line to have success because your quarterback needs a clean pocket in order to step up and make the pass. And although I haven't shown you guys a lot of the plays, the quarterback's been clean a lot. Like this offense line has done a great job. And it's really guys like Tunsil and Green and Titus Howard and Quisenberry, right? These are the guys that are allowing the quarterback to stay clean. These are the guys that are doing a great job on the offensive line. I mean, just look at every single one of these plays. The quarterback has a lot of time to actually sit back and make the play. And I've oftentimes said this in the past, the way to build if you're a rebuilding roster, a rebuilding team is through the offensive line. And I think the Texans are really doing a great job. Now, I do want to show you guys a couple more plays of Kenny and Green. Starting with this play right here, the Texans are going to be running an inside zone to the left of your screen. Green has a reach block on 64, and he does an absolutely fantastic job on this play. Now, this defense lineman is in a one technique over the outside shade of the center. And for Green to reach to the inside and have to seal off number 64 is a difficult block. A lot of guys may not make this play because this is a hard block to get to. And of course, Green does a great job reaching. And look at the power right here with that right hand to move 64 and kick his butt back towards the running back. A green has created a wall here for the running back if the running back needs to bend this back to the inside. Now, of course, a guy does go unblocked here, number 96. But Green does a great job on his guy, as does Lermy Tunsil on his guy. And as the running back does cut this back to the inside, number 96 is right there to make the play, as you guys see. Number 96 is right here, and that's on the right tackle for not doing a good job. On the down block, 96 does skip past him. But I did want to show you guys this play because the offensive line does do a great job on the backside. Watch this heads up play by left guard green. Uh, this is a screen pass here to the right of your screen to the tight end. And look at green making sure that the backside defense band or the, or the defense end that's going to chase here isn't able to get the tight end he's going to go ahead and just seal him off right there that's a really nice job because you could get called for a penalty here you could get called for some sort of backside block uh, some sort of penalty right and he makes sure he doesn't get penalized he makes sure though to get his hands out and to cut off that backside defense event at least you're giving your tight end a chance right uh, that guy should have ultimately win up field ports the quarterback uh, but 
as you guys know, Robert Quinn is a smart, high IQ football player. He quickly recognizes it. Still a great job by Green right there. Did want to point it out because these are smart plays. Let's go ahead and get to the next wrap. Alrighty, guys, I want to go ahead and wrap the video up with this final play right here. Green is going to block the outside linebacker number 53 here. And watch the power. Watch him toss number 53 right there. That's a great job right there. Uh, this play does come back. It is a holding on the center, but I absolutely love what Kenyon Green has displayed on tape, man. I, I think the Texans could have the best left side of the offensive line between Green and Tunsil. Tunsil is a top three tackle. Uh, you can see he's a top three left tackle. You can see he's a top three overall tackle, and you can definitely make that case. The guy's an absolute superstar, and Kenyon Green should end up being a top five guard. By the end of this year, and I should say top five left guards specifically by the end of this year. And if he continues to develop and he continues to show that power, especially as he gets out in space and he continues to develop that footwork, look out, man. This guy's going to be really, really special. He moves well for being that big and he's strong and he's physical and he's powerful. And I get why the Texans drafted him as the number one guard. It makes a lot of sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. We do O-line breakdowns, D-line breakdowns, as well as linebackers and a couple other positions. Please consider subscribing, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.